This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his lusciousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Praise be to God. I thank God for yet another moment that we have come together this early morning to pray. Beginning our day by prayer is a wise thing to do. Praise be to God. Thank you for joining up with me. Let's uh, join hearts together and call upon God and even look into his word. Praise be to God. Uh, I would like us today to pray under the banner of overcoming the world. Praise be to God, overcoming the world. We are to occupy till Jesus comes. Occupy till I come. You cannot occupy unless you are in control. When you are out of control, you are out of, uh, you are in confusion and your occupants will not be full or genuinely so. Occupy until I come. We must overcome. You overcome when there is opposition. One thing we know very well is that as the body of Christ, as Christians, our lives are full of um, opposition. There are many, many things that oppose our life, that oppose our walk with Christ. We are engulfed with opposition. Praise be to God. So we have to occupy. And as we occupy, we must overcome. When you buy a piece of land, you are given a deed plan. That's to give you authority, to give you power, to occupy. Praise be to God, to overcome and a claim that may come over your lord because you've got the deed plan. Praise be to God. Therefore, we must occupy, but we must overcome at the same time. We must subdue the earth and control it to overcome, to, to occupy until Christ comes. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 1, Whosoever believeth that Jesus is a Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him, that begot him, also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we are the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And these commandments are not grievous. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even of faith. Praise be to God. Verse 5, he is, he is he who, he, 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 who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the, this is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness, because the spirit, because the spirit is truth. Praise be to God. Who is he that overcometh the world? Who? This is a person that believeth in Christ. You believe in Christ, you become an overcomer. Praise be to God. Remember that it is in him that we are more than conquerors. Overcomers conquer. Because if you are overcoming, it means that there are obstacles that are standing on your way. There are obstacles stopping you or trying to stop you from overcoming. Praise be to God. Obstacles trying to ridicule your walk with Christ to make fun of you. Yes, the devil also accusing you before God. He is the accuser of brethren, accusing you of things that happened years ago, things that Christ saved and Christ you, forgetting that you are in Christ, and when you are in Christ, all things have become new. They become as new. The bad as if it never happened. But the accuser of brethren, who is Satan, doesn't realize that. But you know what? We overcome him by the word of our testimony. And by the blood of the Lamb, we'll overcome many things. We'll overcome even Satan himself. Praise be to God. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. 
Praise be to God. For this is the witness of God which hath testified about his son. Christ uh, was testified upon, or God spoke even directly, all the bread for people to hear. He spoke about Jesus being his son, one during his baptism. And before the three disciples at Transfiguration, God uh, spoke openly and witnessed that Christ was his son. He that believeth on the Son of God has the witness in himself. You believe in God, you have the witness in himself. The Holy Spirit of God, he who testified of Christ, he that believeth not hath not made, and he that believeth not has made him a liar, because he believeth not the record of God, or the record that God gave about his son. God gave a record by, about his son. God spoke to the world. He spoke to humanity and said, this is my most beloved son. Believe ye in him. If you believe anything else rather than that, then you make God a liar. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Let's look at a very peculiar verse. This is John verse 14, chapter 14, verse 6. I consider this the most dangerous thing about Jesus. Why do I say that? Because it is so simple, most people don't get it. It is also in such, it is, it is also in such a religious world where we have millions of gods and, and, and many religions, including one peculiar religion of the atheist known as atheism. The most unfortunate thing is that people will go to hell for this, not because they are not godly, not because they don't know about God and, um, and seek Him and seek His heaven. People seek His heaven. You will hear people doing things so they can go to heaven. There are even those who kill themselves in suicide bombings, suicide murders, uh, hoping they are going to heaven because they are serving God. But only that they have lost the way. Praise be to God. Yes, they know heaven. They know God. They seek his heaven. They are going to his heaven. But unfortunately, they have lost the way. They do not know all. They have refused the truth. They have refused the truth. So they have no life. Praise be to God. Not this life. They have missed this life. And they have missed eternal life. Praise be to God. This, they mostly would refute. But the word of God is straight. In fact, what makes this word, Jesus, very dangerous is because he spoke these words himself. He says, Jesus said unto him, John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We get to the Father only through Christ, through the new birth in Christ, we get to the Father. Praise be to God. I thank God for His Word. For His Word is the year and man. His Word in the Bible is true. It's life for humanity. It is your life. It is my life. Praise be to God. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. This is a very dangerous fact. Because this is a fact that will send many people to hell, seekers of God in quotes, who cannot seek God and miss to hear him. He said, this is my most beloved son. Believe you in him. You fail to believe in that, then you are lost. Praise be to God. These things are written unto us so that we can believe that Jesus is the son of God. That we may know and have eternal life. Praise be to God. It's only the knowledge of Christ and the Son of God that will give us eternal life. Remember, we are occupying. Remember, we are praying. We are trusting God to help us occupy our space on earth until He comes. We are praying and believing God to help our children, particularly those that are teachable today, those that are under authority, those who can be taught things and believe, those who can be taught Praise be to God from the unborn to day one, all the way to age 16, around there, where children are under the authority of their parents, teachers, praise be to God, and uh, school principals, where children know there is rule to follow. 
it comes a time when people feel liberated. They feel we've grown up. We can make our own decisions. And it's, that's the right to be so because they are mature. They are responsible over their own life. But these one, young ones that are teachable, I am, I am eager to have you and I pray them to victory, pray them to the fear of God, pray them to wisdom that comes from the fear of God because the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Pray them to the virtues of God that our nation shall change at one time. Praise be to God. Remember, as you pray, we are praying even for those that are children of atheists. Praise be to God. All those children are of non-Christians. We are praying for them because they are teachable. They can hear the word of God. They can know God. They can know doing good things. They can turn to Jesus. Praise be to God. They are teachable. And you know what? The Holy Spirit of God is the greatest teacher. He is greater than that teacher who teaches religious matters, who educates children. He is greater than. If we turn to God, God by His Spirit will teach these children, these young ones, that our youngsters will have a different lifestyle, will have a kind of different life. When they grow up, their lives are going to be different. Praise be to God. And our nation will change. Hallelujah. Because the citizens, the leaders in it, the business people in that nation, the teachers in school, the doctors, and every person that is participating in that economy is God-fearing and is god ray This can happen by prayer because prayer can work great things. And we know that the Son of God is come and has given us an understanding that we may know him. That is true. We are in him. That is true. Even his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God, the eternal life. Praise be to God. Are you a believer? Eternal life has begun for you. Praise be to God. Eternal life began even before time begins. I'm not talking about everlasting life. I'm talking about eternal life which has no beginning. Praise be to God. It was with God. And it is by that we came to be. We are given that eternal life when we receive Christ in us. When the Holy Spirit of God lives in us, we have that eternal life. Our life is eternal. You will get eternal life today if you believe in God. Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. One, it is eternal. Two, it is abundant. Three, we are given a mandate, a ticket to ask for that abundance, to trust God for that abundance in the times of death, in times of poor economies, in time of taunting moments, in time of turmoil, we can have that peace, that eternal life, that abundant life, because God, Jesus came that we might have it. Praise be to God, trouble on earth, Poor economies, poor governors will not hinder the abundance of God through which Christ came that we may have. Hallelujah. I like us to go to prayer. We pray first and foremost that we may know. Praise be to God. We may know. We may possess that assurance that Christ has given us eternal life. That we may know that Jesus came and died for us on the cross. That we may know that victory is surely ours through and through. That we may know that uh, we are believers in Christ and that we are born of God. That we may know that when we love him, we'll do his commands. That we may be able to obey him. Not only know, but obey. I'd like us to pray that God may help us to be obedient to his command. Praise be to God. Hallelujah, to do everything that we can do to be on the right track. When things go haywire, let our desire, let our, our drive be to be right, to make things right. Praise be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray with my brethren this morning that Jehovah God, you may help us. We are called by your name. You called us your own. You called us into a kingdom. Our lives are written in the book of life. 
I pray that it may help us, O oh God, to be obedient. Lord, because Father, he who loves you obeys your word without obeying you, without feeling you. Then there is trouble. Then we are in trouble. Then we fail, we fall short of your glory. We fall short of many things. My prayer this morning as you may help us, O oh God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, God to desire God to do your will, to desire to please you, to desire for the Lord to walk your path, O oh God, to obey your word, O oh God. Help us, King of Kings, O oh God, to desire you have a God, to know you and the power of selection through and through and through it all. I thank you and I give you glory. I give you praise because, Lord, you are gracious, you are loving and you are kind. I want to thank you and I want to praise you, Jehovah God, because, Father, you are doing great things in our lives, O God. You are, Jehovah God, we know that you are preserved of you. We are kept of you, O God. We are your own, O God. You call us your own, Jehovah God. I pray, my Father, that we experience your kingdom come. We experience your love come, O God. I thank and glorify your name, Jesus. I would like us to pray for our children, especially these young ones. Yes, they'll be the center of our prayer as we pray. We'll get to them most of the time. Praise be to God. I us to pray. You know, there are things that we have experienced in our lives, oh God. At our age, at our age, even those that are 25, 28, 30, there are things that you've experienced. If you're a parent, there are things that you've gone through in your life, in your childhood, even in your adulthood, that didn't please you very well, very well. I would pray that things will be different. It will be not like daughter, like mother, like father, like son. It's going to be different. That your children are going to have a different tread. They will not walk the, your path, praise be to God. They will follow a different tread in life. And they'll, be, they'll, be, uh, they'll have different results, praise be to God. And they'll have victories. The challenges that met you, they overcome them easily because they are not going through what you went through. The Bible says in Ezekiel 16, verse 44, Indeed, everyone who quotes Proverbs will use this proverb against you, like a mother, like a daughter. You are your mother's daughter, wrothing husband and children, and you are the sister of your sisters, you who wrote their husbands and their children. Who, uh, your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Ammonite. Look here. Perhaps you're having a troublesome marriage. Perhaps you've been divorced. Perhaps you're at the verge of a divorce. Perhaps you saw your parents divorce. And you know, your children are their children's children. Praise be to God. That can be imputed upon them by life, by the ways of life, by trade. Then we can take advantage of our ignorance, of our, of our, our, our prayerlessness, and impute those things that we went through, those negative things, on our children because they don't pray for them. They don't, we, are not, uh, we are not intervening for them. Praise be to God. Father, in Jesus' name, I will pray, God, for our children. I pray, Father, God, even for the children of unbelievers, because they are children, innocent, Lord, they are born today, that we born tomorrow, oh, Father. Yeah, God, I pray, Father, that you may remember mercy, God, rescue them, Father. Oh God, ray and infrastructure of their rescue from religion, oh God, to life, to everlasting life. My Father and my God, I pray that the challenges that we went through, the things we encountered, Father, in our childhood, in our adult life, the things, God, that Lord, we go through, oh God, the things, Lord, we've erred in, the mistakes we've made in life, oh God, will not be the trace, the mistake these children will make. I pray that their lives will be different. Their lives will be geared towards victories, towards greatness, towards you, mighty God, towards blessings, King of glory, Lord. Every trap the enemy has raid in order to ensnare them, Father, I pray that you may destroy. I pray, Father, that you may pull down. I pray that your kingdom may come, that your will may be done in their lives as in heaven, O God. I pray, my Father, through these children, through these young ones, O God, who are teachable, who can learn, who can be mentored, O God, to greatness, to chastity, who can be mentored here, O God, O God, to holiness, to lusciousness, O Father, who can be mentored, O God, to ministry, O God, and to the faithfulness, O God, in whatever they do, mighty God. These young ones, O God, will have a different life, will have a different nation, O God. Jehovah God, I pray that King of Glory may touch their lives in a very special, O God. Father, make them 
what you wanted them to do to go to do oh father yeah i pray that god you may god clothe them with lusciousness oh god the gown of gown of lusciousness oh god the gown of peace may they know peace may they know joy may they know your faithfulness oh god may they know your mercy may they know your protection king of glory, of glory father king of father king of glory i pray that your kingdom may come father in their lives in our lives in our time oh god may your kingdom come that your will may be done in their lives in our lives as it is in heaven oh god my father i pray that these children will know and learn the fear of god will adapt the fear of god will learn the fear of god will know father lord to do your will to do to walk in your path to fulfill your commands oh god you have a god that our lives will be victorious you have a god i thank you and i bless you god because you are great and you are mighty there is no god like you i thank you father that when the enemy comes in their life in like a flood the spirit of god will always raise up a stand against them oh god against him oh god that their lives will be victorious oh god that they will overcome Father, oh my Father, I pray that they learn to humble themselves, oh God. May they love, live humble life, humble themselves under your mighty arm, the mighty arm of God, that you have a God that may be lifted up of you, that you may lift them up. Father, I thank you, and I give you glory. The Bible says in 1 Peter 7, verse 6, humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you praise be to god i thank you and i give you glory father in heaven father because of this one once oh god my prayer this moment is father you may arise in their lives oh god my prayer father is that they may learn to humble themselves before you oh god and to cast their cares upon you oh father help every listener this morning help every brother who is praying with me this morning oh god to be able to live lives that are humble before you oh god that they may send good examples to the young ones oh god oh father help them not to live lives that are obeying your word oh Oh God, declaring that they love you, that they know and love you, O oh God, by our lifestyle, O oh God. May our lifestyle declare that we love you. King of glory, Father, may your humility, God, declare that we love you, mighty God. I thank you and I bless you because, Lord, you are gracious, you are loving and you are kind. My Father and my God, I pray that, Lord, we may learn, they may learn, may we all learn, O oh God, to cast all our anxieties, all our cares to you because you care about us, O oh Father. I thank you, King of glory, Lord. What a wonderful privilege, what a wonderful thing to have the creator of the universe caring about us. I thank you that you care about us, oh God. I cast all my anxieties, Father, to you. I cast all my cares to you, my Father. I trust you, Father, for the sake of the brethren, oh God. Touch the sick, oh God. Heal them that require hearing, oh my Father. Touch everybody, organ, oh mighty God. Oh, you have a God, touch every mind. You have a God, touch every life, oh God. Order every step, oh Father, our luscious man. Help us, God, to seek you and seek you truly, oh Father. Oh, hallelujah. Yerabi konta rababo sharaba kienda ka. Yerabi kori wara sharaba di bajienda ka. Yerabi kori baba sharaba di boni kiba shaina ka. Yeraba kori baba shaira ka. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to resist the enemy, Father, to be resistant, God, to the wills of the devil. Oh God, to trust in you instead, my Father. Oh God, I praise you and I give you glory because you are gracious, loving, and kind. You're the most high God. You're the King of kings. You're the King of glory. I lift your name high above every other. All glory, all honor belongs to you. You are Rabbi Koshabakad. I thank you, mighty God. I give you glory. I give you honor. We pray this trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. As we add, let us give our tithes and offering. The details on how to do that are on the screen. You can use the two ways, either M-Pesa or you can do a direct bank transfer. Praise be to God. If uh, you stumble about this, you stumble on this step uh, one time and you don't come to the chapel and you are, and you are in Mombasa, we are located in, in Kizingo, around Jenomadega Road. Then the Lord that goes to, Gen, uh, to Mamagina Girls, you'll see the signboard for Praise Chapel. Come and flush with us and God will bless you. Hallelujah. And if you are not born again and you are out there, 
pray say this prayer after me that you may be born again father in the name of jesus i come to you this morning i believe that i'm a sinner i believe that i require salvation i believe that jesus died for me on the cross that may have life and have it more abundantly i believe that uh, jesus shed his blood because he loves me i accept that love this moment i receive jesus in my heart i pray that lord you may remove my name from the books of death and write my name in the book of life i pray that you may help me to walk with you every day of my life in jesus name i pray and believe amen and amen praise be to god if you say that prayer then i believe you're born again come to church and let's fellowship together the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god the fresh of the holy spirit with us now and forever more amen and amen god bless you